record. Yeah, someone was sharing with me this thing of no thought and a lot of spiritual teachings leading to having no thought. Like the Course in Miracles says, all my thoughts are meaningless. Um, and uh, often when we're doing the observer practice, we're going to the witnesser of thoughts. Um, so it's just letting go of that huge addiction to being in thoughts. Um, and just my my views on that on, and on, no, that wasn't the question, was it? It was actually, um, how do you stay in the knowledge? Oh, okay. Well, I'll answer this one, then quick do video, video on that. So yeah, really, I think, you know, the thoughts for me exist because there's still some latent interest in thoughts. There's still some meaning uh, at, a, at some layer of the ego consciousness that is interested in registering them. That's why they seem to still pop up. So the whether it's using A Course in Miracles, this, this these thoughts that are registered are meaningless um, until, until, you know, like the only thoughts that could even be registered are the ones that still have some symbolic meaning left in them. Otherwise, if the, if the, if a thought is rendered totally meaningless or is inquired until it no longer, um, or it could be inquired until it no longer comes back, because, you know, there, the uninterest, you know, there's the, you could say there's, this sounds very dualistic, but you could say there's an observer that's interested in thoughts, and then there's an observer which has zero interest in thoughts, where thoughts do not exist. So, and the same thing with, um, cancel, you know, my thoughts are meaningless or I cancel my thoughts. It's not really cancelling thoughts. You just cancel, you don't need to cancel thoughts which are already rendered meaningless because they no longer, see, they will no longer come back. You don't register anything that has 100% uh, no identification with it. It doesn't exist for you. So the only thoughts that come up are actually thoughts which have some magicalness still left in them, depending on how heavy the um, how heavy the uh, thought comes back. And that's seen by whether it's a repeating thought, you know, like, uh, I don't like my neighbor, I don't like my neighbor. That would mean there's still quite a lot of meaning and residue uh, and identification with that. So that would need some inquiring out or, or cancellation to that, or to say it's just neighbor's not is meaningless. My thought about the neighbor is meaningless. Um, or I'm an infinite being, I'm not subject to this thought, or um, just who's having this thought and who's disturbed by the neighbor. So, um, yeah, um, uh, another way to see it, of course, is that if there's identification with thoughts on a personal level, then that is that is an experience of limited consciousness or separated consciousness. So it's like how, how liberated in this moment um, you can't use language does one want to be does one want to be free of all limitations free of any limitation of being restricted by a thought or the existence of a thought or the body or feelings or whatever it is or even the registering of a world so um so then uh, so that those are the things to inquire or cancel on i'll stop there <laughs>